I was able to follow the instructions from flips and uh, toast and I'll, I'll try to put that information in the uh, video notes uh, but basically they've been able to hack and uh, unroot or not unroot root the uh, Evo already so I got my Evo rooted and then I just followed the instructions to load uh, their version of uh, Froyo which is Android 2.2 .2 or the newest Android software onto the uh, Evo so here you see it booting up and here we go so this is the new Froyo 2.2 .2. and if you're interested in what Froyo has on it um, you can always just go to um, Google and look up Froyo Android 2.2 .2. there's a lot of great new features uh, as well as it's supposed to optimize the software and make it much much faster so here you guys are seeing with me for the first time um, the Froyo running on my Evo uh, again I can't take any credit for this I just followed the instructions this is from Flips and uh, Toast over at, uh, I believe Toast is actually responsible for it, over at geek for me uh, website. So, you know, you can follow the instructions on there on how to do it. It's actually somewhat easy, even if you don't really know much about it. If you just follow those instructions step by step, um, it's, it's not too, too challenging. So let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and log into all this stuff and, and get this general setup completed. And then I'll come back in and let you guys see it once I get it loaded up. Okay, as I'm setting it up, one thing I notice here that's really nice, uh, Froyo actually offers the option to back up your settings to your G your Google account. Um, this is going to be really nice for people who reset their phones a lot, like me, um, because you're not going to have to keep setting those things up. Once you log in with your Google account, it's going to transfer all your stuff over to the phone that you're logging into. So that's going to be really nice if you switch phones or if you have to keep resetting your phone. Um, just a really nice feature I already see here without even getting into Froyo, just looking at the, the menu options. So here we have Froyo 2.2 vanilla uh, Android running right on my Evo. Um, to be honest with you, I've never even seen this myself, so we're going to explore it together. It has the live wallpapers, of course. This is what you see on the Nexus 1 right now if it's running 2.2. .2. The nice little um, skip screens where you can hold down here and it'll skip from screen to screen. So you can kind of hop around from screen to screen there. A new marketplace widget. Uh, let's pull up the dollar, see what the dollar looks like. So here we have the dialer. Um, from what I understand, this Froyo is really, really fast. The problem is right now, the hacked version for the Evo uh, doesn't let the camera work. I think it stops the uh, camera, so front or back. And I believe it also stops e uh, 4G, which is not really an issue for me. Um, but, you know, still just showing the great things to come as our developers continue to work on this. And I actually may try to utilize this for today and just see you know how I can get by with it um, but I probably will need my camera so that could be an issue here's the web loading up there so nothing too too crazy or new to see here sorry about that camera jiggle um, let's see here the marketplace I know is supposed to have some new 2.2 features so let's check those out So I'm seeing right off the bat that it is a um, slightly redesigned market. Nothing dramatic, um, but some nice little tweaks. I'll go ahead and look at Astro here, which is another file that I love and highly recommend for file management. But um, a simple little change I see here, they have the about and, and the typical um, you know, um, screenshots, which for some reason aren't loading right now. Um, but then they also separated comments into its own little tab. So that's pretty cool, um, just really quick. Already, I'm noticing that this is, um, even for the Evo, very, very fast. Um, and it seems to be a bit smoother. The, the uh, Android in general, the placement of some of the, the buttons and things like that just seem to be a little, just more convenient. I don't know. Um, so I'll continue to play with this a bit here and see what I can find that would be of interest. Okay, here's another really nice feature I just found. It's uh, called Car Mode. And basically what it does is just turns your entire screen into, you know, a few icons that you would really need in the car. Um, and so you can easily just select those with really big buttons here. So, you know, if I were to hit phone, it just brings up the phone. Uh, and then hit back and go right back to Car Mode. So it's pretty cool. It lets you have some access to uh, 
just the commonly used things without having to uh, you know actually go to those apps and makes it really easy to use while you're in the car exit car mode and you're right back it's a nice new feature I wish they had that in the uh, the uh, HTC sense version alright so again this is a test version um, but even with that being said and here you see this is the uh, standard Android um, lock screen here it lets you slide over to mute your phone or, or apparently vibrate uh, so switch between vibrate uh, sound off and sound on right from your lock screen again just typical um, vanilla Android features and then also let's open that back up change the live wallpaper so here's the water ripple one again that I, I kind of like um, but uh, yeah again it just really really fast just I can definitely tell a difference between uh, Froyo even on this test version and uh, what is the other one called Eclair 2.1 so between 2.1 and 2.2 uh, um, but all in all you know I really like the the HTC sense experience so I'm probably going to be switching back here to sense at least until they get a more stable version of this that lets me use my camera and all those good things because as of right now um, you know I don't have any camera support I'm not getting my H, my Facebook contacts and Twitter contacts like I had on Sense. Um, so just some really nice features in Sense that I miss. But all in all, this is a really um, great, great update to Android. And I can't wait till they get this integrated into the Evo. It should be integrated into Sense and an update for the Evo, they said, by the end of June, early July. So that's a good thing. And you see that the developers have already got a working hack. So I wouldn't be surprised if they have one uh, within the next couple of weeks, to be honest with you. Um... But all in all, you know, just wanted to give you guys a chance to see this, a little nice surprise uh, before on Evo Eve here, before the Evo drops tomorrow, uh, just showing that it can be rooted already um, and it can be loaded with custom ROMs. Um, again, very, very smooth. You see the transitions here. You get the 3D app drawer. You kind of see there how it wraps around the, the bottom of your screen as you scroll through down here. Um, just another example of, of Android kind of doing things here and cleaning up their OS. See here in your Google search, you can now choose by touching the G if you want to go to all web apps contacts. So it lets you kind of filter those. That's pretty cool. Um, standard Google keyboard, uh, which isn't bad at all, actually. Um, it does do some recognition and matching. Like, uh, let's see if I can go to a text and show you what I'm talking about here. Okay, so it does do some spell correction as you type. Uh, I guess I have to type something even close to a word, but you see there, clearly I didn't type anything, but uh, it does show a little bit of spell correction, so it's not bad. Um, just, again, I really prefer Sense. I really like the uh, features of Sense. Um, so here we go. In summation, a um, couple other things I've noticed here. Uh, the if you hold the home key that gives you your shortcut to recently used apps they changed that made it just a little cleaner look a little nicer on the UI instead of just a little box that pops up but fundamentally the same thing but much smoother obviously um, did want to actually show you in the settings here and go in into settings it looks pretty much the same a little bit different than the uh, sense with the color icons but more or less the same thing I did see a new option here for a dock when you go in there it gives you the options of audio and dock insertion sound so that's pretty cool I don't know what that exactly is gonna work with but it looks like they're gonna have some features to, to kinda go with any docks that might come out for some of the 2.2 devices um, and then let me just show you the actual screen here just to show that I actually am in there we go so you see there Android 2.2 custom kernel version blah 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 um, other than that, I think there was one other thing I wanted to show you, but I can't remember what it was right now. So, But again, just giving you a chance to see this 2.2 uh, on the Evo. Really looking forward to this official update or, or better um, hacked version soon.